Good evening. I just want to preface this next comment. Uh, currently, I'm with the uh, uh, district attorney's office. I'm the first assistant district attorney. And we've been trying a lot of cases. And let me tell you, this is probably the best panel that I've had, a jury panel, in a long time. So uh, I just want to preface that. But again, uh, my background, I was born and raised here in Darryl, Texas. Uh, I'm a product of the Head Start program, believe it or not. Uh, I graduated in 1981 here in Darryl, went off to UT, graduated in 1985, went on to law school, graduated from St. Mary's Law School in San Antonio, uh, was licensed the same year. Decided to stick around San Antonio, so I figured, well, let me try to pick up a few bad habits here. Let me try to figure out, you know, how to practice law. Because in, in law school, they didn't teach us that. They just taught us the law, but they didn't tell us how to practice. So uh, I knocked heads. I knocked heads in San Antonio. I was able to practice in San Antonio, Bear County. We have over 20 district judges. We have uh, over 20 county court of law judges. And I was able to practice in front of all of them. My practice not only uh, encumbered Bear County, but it also encumbered the surrounding counties. So uh, I'm used to the rural counties. I practice in Atascosa, Carn City, Guadalupe, Seguin, Texas, New Braunfels, Comal County. My first murder case was in Carnes County, a little town called Post, Texas. Uh, it was real important for me to get experience to help my clients. That was my primary objective was to defend my clients. And no better way was to go out there and get, your, get into the nitty gritty and get your hands dirty. So I was able to, to uh, not only practice in Bexar County, but I've been able to uh, continue my jury practice here in town. We've, we've already probably done more, we've probably tried about 15, 20 cases just within the last two years. We're moving the docket. Uh, you need experience as a trial lawyer. I have that. I worked with the uh, big uh, uh, counties, the small counties. I worked with some of the best judges here in town, some of the best judges in Bear County. Uh, Judge Machado, Michael Machado, Sid Haro, uh, Rebecca Simmons, who's now on the Fourth Court of Appeals, Karen Angelini, who's, in, who's also on the Fourth Court of Appeals. So I've been able to go in front of these judges, and these judges have gone on to become the Court of Appeal judges and other parts of the uh, jurisdiction in this state. So uh, based on that, ladies and gentlemen, that's my experience, and I, hopefully I'll continue to have that here in, in town. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, the three things that, that needs to be done in, in any uh, office is to initially find out where you're at. You know, what types of cases are pending? Why are, are there some cases that are not moving? So basically the first thing that you need to do, that I would do, is just do a, a basic inventory. You know, why are, are, th are these cases being, being uh, brought to court? Are they just sitting there? Uh, we need to know, and that's the first thing. It's a real basic get a basic inventory of where these cases are going. Second and all, once we find out where these cases are, if, why they're pending, why they're not coming to court, is put them on the docket. Put them on the docket. If there's a case that's been active for over a year, year and a half, I propose to open up a, what's called a dismissal docket. Notify all the parties involved, the attorneys, and say, hey, what's going on? Do we need to proceed or do we need to dismiss this case? is backlogging our, our other cases. The third, the third thing we need to do, uh, again, this is the court of general's jurisdiction. We're talking about both civil and criminal. On the civil side, we need to keep those cases going. On the criminal side, we are behind, ladies and gentlemen. We are behind in trying these cases. We're not only dealing with victims, but we're talking about lost witnesses. So those cases need to be directed and need to be dealt with. And how do you do it? Right now, we have to do a, I propose to do a master list of all the cases that need to be tried, not on the docket, but cases that actually need a jury trial, and notify each and every defense lawyer, notify the district attorney's office, and say, hey, 
we got 100 cases that need to go to trial. We're going to put them on the docket for the next 12 months. You're going to give proper notice. You're going to have three to six months uh, notification. If you can work something out, that's great. But if not, we're going to trial, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, justice denied is justice delayed. Thank you very much.